Humans, truth or myth? Ancient lost civilization or just an old pony's tale? No pony has ever seen one, and most haven't even heard of them. But Lyra knows that these wonderful creatures are more than just old legends, and she's going to find out, and possibly drive her roommate insane in the process. Lyra Heartstrings has been a part of MLP right from the very first episode, as a background pony. She keeps popping up here and there throughout the series, oftentimes right next to Bon Bon. And even though practically every background pony has been given a name by the fandom, Lyra tends to stand out quite a bit more than the others. And the reason for that comes back to one very short scene in Dragonshy. While all the other ponies are standing or sitting normally, we see Lyra slouching on a bench. Now, this wasn't the first odd pony that stood out in the series, as even Derpy made her first standout appearance several episodes earlier. But as our fandom tends to take every odd occurrence in MLP and start running with it, Lyra began gaining a reputation for having an odd fixation on humans and their behaviors, particularly when it comes to hands. And that is the focus of Anthropology by Jason the Human, with Lyra being the central character. Before getting to this story, I had seen countless comics, art pieces, and videos that showed Lyra's obsession with humans. But this story actually gives us some very intriguing reasons as to why Lyra has this fixation, and I have to admit there are quite a few clever twists that I honestly did not see coming. I do intend to get into some minor spoilers here, but I won't be getting into anything that will give away the rather intriguing final chapters that lead into the ending. Much of the early part of the story is about Lyra's daily life in Ponyville and her connections with the other residents, and given that she is often paired with Bon Bon in the series, the story also puts a lot of focus on their interactions, particularly with how Bon Bon doesn't quite get Lyra's obsession. Even though there were a few interesting moments, I have to admit there wasn't a whole lot in these early chapters to really grab my attention. But once the story actually starts working its way into some familiar episodes from the show, it becomes much more interesting. The events of both Luna Eclipsed and Hearthwarming Eve play a prominent role here. So it was nice to see all these familiar characters and situations from Lyra's point of view. But even with these familiar situations, I wasn't really seeing what made anthropology such a popular story in the Brony fandom. That is, until about a third of the way through the book when Lyra actually makes it into the human world. This is where the fanfiction really started to grab me, because it became a fish-out-of-water kind of story. Even with the fact that Lyra has been obsessed with humans all of her life, there is still far more for her to learn. And this lack of knowledge actually makes for the most entertaining sections of the story, because she is experiencing so many things for the first time. The author actually puts in some clever comparisons between our world and that of Equestria, especially when seen through the eyes of Lyra. It becomes both humorous and fascinating at the same time, when I was reading about her perspective on all these new situations. I also found some interesting comparisons in what is expected of ponies when compared to humans. In this story, Lyra is only 16 and ends up the same age when in the human world. Whereas in Equestria, she had already moved out of her parents' home, living with a roommate, and was using her talents to support herself. So it comes as no surprise when everyone she talks to in our world is puzzled that she isn't still in school and already has such a wonderful gift for music at such a young age. It makes for some interesting commentary on our world, since we have become so used to the fact that teenagers and even many 20-something adults are oftentimes not working or living independently in our society. This story makes for an intriguing look at what is expected of the young in a different society. While I wouldn't say that anthropology has the emotional impact of past sins, it still presents a rather unique view on the world of Equestria being mixed with our own. Even though the story focuses on a character that is always in the background on the show, there are still plenty of appearances from the Main Six, the CMC, and even the Royal Sisters. I don't think that the original characters are all that memorable, but the story did manage to surprise me with what the author ended up doing with them. And even though anthropology didn't grab me quite as much as past sins, it did manage to make me smile, make me laugh, and make me think. And to top it all off, I didn't find anything offensive in the story, so I have no issues with recommending it to others. And I'd say that most any fan of MLP will find quite a bit to enjoy here as well. But now I would like to hear from each of you. Have you ever read anthropology? Do you think that it has become one of the most popular MLP fan fictions for good reason? Do you think this story presents a good interpretation of a pony's perspective on the world of humans? 
I would like to hear your thoughts about anthropology, and here's to looking forward to the next enjoyable fan fiction I come across. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.